<laughs> was Redbird Nation behind the win last night? Well, have you ever sat in the stands sending the pitcher a mental message for a strikeout? Well, you're not alone. Find out why in a dose of joy. This is weird. I often try to use mental powers to get people to do stuff or not do stuff. Like if I'm at a clearance sale and I see another woman pick up the last really, really cute purse, I'll start sending her these concentrated mental messages. I'll go, put down the purse, don't take that purse, put the purse back. I just try to beam these mental messages her way. Or if I go to a ball game, well actually I had to stop going to the ball game because sending mental messages to the ball players would wear me out. I used to spend the entire time squinting real hard at whoever was batting and thinking, okay, you can do it, you can hit it out of the park. Or if it was the other team's pitcher, you're a loser, you can't pitch, you're going to blow it. By the end of the game, I'd be exhausted. The entire score was riding on my shoulders. I finally told my husband. He said I was weird. Then I saw a picture of a woman in the sports section of the newspaper. She had her eyes all squinted and both fingers crossed, and the caption said, Cardinals fan Mary Lou Johnson puts a hex on the Chicago Cubs. And I said to my husband, look, it's not just me. She's doing it too. And he said she was weird. But now I know I'm not alone. So this year, I've been going back to the ballpark and just enjoying the game. Somebody else can be responsible for whether we win or lose. But hey, if you try to get in front of me at the supermarket with a cart full of groceries, you just might find your head bursting into flames. I'll show you weird. I'm sure <laughs> <kidding. laughs>